Welcome down to another banger of a video. In this mini series where I've been travelling around trying to find nice courses while the weather has been bad, well I've found another banger. I've had to come to Cumbria today because the weather in the UK is horrendous and this is the only clear spot, as you can see. Wow, wow, wow. I'm at Murrayport Golf Club. 18 up, 9 links, 9 parklands. Par 70, 6,000 yard. I'm going to do 9 holes of the links today because it looks stunning. You've probably seen that at the drone already. There will be a giveaway. I'm gonna go for, I get nine here, so I'm gonna go for four over. Medal, nine holes, can I be four over? I've got a bit to tell you, there's some news about Presley you need to listen to, need a bit of love. All I'm gonna say, on the tee, Liam Harrison. Right, golf mates, what a start this is, the old duck path. I'll show you that later on. 420 yards out of the car, that is an hard old stroke 10. Right, golf mates, here we go, last in the series. I brought you to a belter. Murray Port Golf Club started on a hard hole. See on the left, 412 yards. It's a bit of a beast. Stroke 10. Got to get it over this burn. Just say, get it over the burn, and then it's an easy hole. Right, driver in hand. First swing of the day. And I've hit a low driller. It's left, it's down there. Oh, she's bouncing. Might have a blind second shot, but it's in play. And I'll tell you now, four o'clock this morning, we weren't filming anywhere. This is the only part of the UK what's actually dry. And uh, I've been on the putting green, and these could be the best greens of this little mini series. So that's the old duck path there. It's like a promenade, isn't it? But I reckon that was an old train line. So any members here at Murrayport, please let me know, was that an old train line? Right, golf mates, what can I say? Bloody hell. Weren't the best drive, it's left me 219 in, I've got three iron. Uh, it's definitely got vibes of Montrose, this. Definitely has. Beautiful, just looks well kept and all. Put on putting green, that's it, and that looks absolutely awesome. All right, three iron. I've hit that as best I can. Oh my God, the sound of that. That's straight at him, it's big enough. I don't know if it's going to get there. Did you hear the sound of that? I mean, it's not that much of an idol. You just hit a really scabby drive and just absolutely mint free iron. And the sun's out in blue sky. Honestly, Manchester, northwest of England, Midlands, Hull today. <sighs> but you've not seen that in ages, the sun. Over there, I think it's Silliff and Powfoot. I think over there, Stramra. Over there. His island, and that's my nail clean that just in case. Beautiful, gonna enjoy it here today. What a strike that was! I tell you what, golf mates, how about that? Well, these are like the putting green, they're gonna be fast. I tell you, that oh, you've got to warm up. I'm telling you, you have to warm up because it's a beast. I mean, that was some free eye in that, right. Don't think there's much in this. Jumped on me. After that free iron, that deserved to be inside the bloody dustbin lid. Notice this with a lot of Lynx courses, the flag game, they have these perforated with all the clothes. Probably saw the last. Oh, right. Come on, baby, light my fire. That was a bad first putt, it did jump. Greens look lovely. They get them teeth out, balls in. <laughs> right, what we have filmed, I don't know if you're gonna see it, we've got all the 
crew back together. All man pack, Scraggy, Mr. Barlow, eBay, Pete, Graham, Amy. And we did a Golf Mates Masters. Now, I don't know if you're going to watch it before this or not. What an epic battle and video that were. I'm saying nothing. Might be the best we've ever filmed. That's all I'm saying. Can't wait to show you that. But I've got a task on, Anna. I? I want to be three over for nine holes, which I'll be buzzing with that because I think I'm playing all right. Right, golf mates, here we go. Second hole called the winds. 427 yards, but we are 20 yards forward of the tee. So we are 400 yards. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a beast, this. Can't go left. I tell you what it is reminding me now, Spare Bay. Now I've got to go back there, they're doing loads of work. When me and Mr. Barlow went up to Scotland, it's like Spare Bay actually. How the, the furway is like this. It's like in a little U. Alright, we need to start right side for a draw. Come on. On it now, like a car bonnet. Oh, look at that drawing left. That's on him. Sugar my timbers. It's no one near him, surely not. No, it's not. No. What a golf shot that was, without a shadow of a doubt, that were picked up beautiful. I'm going to say it now. Listen, the people in America, I think you're loving these videos. I'm going to do something for you. That was sent. Could have said mashed potato, but that's pathetic. Oh, hey, I want to say something now. Golf mates, there is a four ball here giveaway. But for win it, you've got to do this. Presley, I hope you pass your test. We've got to get home for our five today because Presley's got his driving test tomorrow and his last lesson. Nice to be nice. When you're 17 and your driving test, it's a big thing. So be nice. Let's do some nice love. Presley, I hope you pass your test. Right, golf mates, I've got 152. I'm going to go eight iron. Driving here. Oh, what a drive. Back end of the lakes, this all. It just reminded me of going from Auburn when we did the, the Hidden Gems season three with Simon and Steve. From Auburn to Inverness, we went past Loch Ness and this road, it, honestly, they, no one talks about Cumbria, but it really is God's country, it's gorgeous. Anyway, back to the task. I think eight times should be all right, but I've got a naughty bunker looking at me, but I think I can get past that. Lies a little bit downhill, so I'm going to aim at that bunker and hopefully the line of the land takes it right. If it can get there, it might be fat. It's on the pin, it might need a good bounce that. I think I've got the bounce. She's dancing, she's dancing, but I don't know if she can hear the music. Talking about the music, you won't believe what I've downloaded. I've just downloaded the Killers album years ago, Hot Fuss. Someone told me she had a girlfriend in Thailand, Mr. Barlow, called Dave. I shouldn't say that, I love him to be sure, that was out of order, never mind. Just caught it a tad heavy, but if you look, the pin is hanging off the green. What can I say? Wow, wow, wow. Now, again, I'm going to show you a beautiful drone of the little uh, harbour there at Murray Port. Beautiful, a lot of yachts. We thought it was an old fishing village, it's not. Presley did the research, it's an old coal mining town. And I think it's 1905 or 1906 it started, this course, when it was established. And it's very similar to Sylecroft and Dunnerholm and maybe St. Bede's. So it's mad how all the golf courses were built at the same year or two. So I'm positive it must be with railway. I might be wrong. Anyway, this is left to right up at Gordon Bennett. Gordon Bennett. All oh, right, about she's on the dance floor and no one near the green. The hat will come off in a minute. Uh, she's had a little whack. She's coming in now. She had everything by a bit of juice. I think the putting green was a little bit faster, but hey ho, not to worry. I know what you're all saying now. Hey, Liam, you're always short. But look at it there. That was a long putt. I just thought it'd be a bit faster. Great condition though, really is. Greenkeeper here, I've met him. Forgot his name, so we'll call him Terry. He, Great job. I think there's a there's a marshal out in a buggy on his own. He's a great crack. 90 year old and he still plays. Lovely gentleman. We'll call him Fred. Wow. Thought I had that, but see it with downhill behind. Chicken and rice. 
what can I say? Ball game. Played that all good as well. Great drive, good second shot. Uh, you would have thought I would have bogeyed the first all, but that is golf and real golf. But I still say it, my handicap, we know it's 8.2, so I get 9 here, like I said earlier on. But do you think I'm playing decent golf? Do you think I'm going to get as many as comps as I can? I'm going to get my handicap down this year. I'd like to know, actually. I think I've got a right good chance. Right, golf mates, here we go. 430 yards again, but I think it's a little bit shorter. Uh, this is stroke 14. The last one was stroke 4. The name of this one is a cracker. It's called Butt Wrist. Less of the jokes, Butt Wrist. Out of bounds left. So we're going right again, hoping for a draw. Oh, but it's straight as a die. That's best get down. Right side of the fairway. Should be short. Oh, perfect. Oh, it's a long way down there. Tell you what, what I'm loving is that I'm not going right. That went straight or aiming there. Do you know them weak ones? Game's trending. She's going down. Like my ears going backwards. But look at this. It's not super warm, but look at that. That could be a sea lion there at the back of my drive there. That really could be a sea lion. Beautiful, isn't it? Right, golf mates, I've got 92 yards. Gap wedge. It was only 360 yards, the hole. I got it wrong. Right, I think all the green's right at the pin. Nice and easy. That is my first duff. I hope I can meet that bunker. Could be. That weren't committed there. I could still be pin high, but I don't think I'm on the green. Bit of a duffer that. Shame, that was a great drive. Say duffer, that divot is beautiful and straight. So, just a bit heavy and uh, just needed a bit more commitment. I tell you, it's got vibes as well. This is Fort Rose and Rose Marquee. Uh, this is best of the mini series. I'm glad I've come here now and I'm glad I've saved it till the last. I don't know what the part line is like. And quite frankly, I don't care. I'm loving this Lynx bit. Right, golf mates, what can I say? It was pin high, but I think it's probably had a bounce off the hill there. Really could do with a, a two putt here, eh? Right to left. Not hit it again. Oh, she's getting there. Chicken and rice. Ugh. I'll take it out for you. God, that was a good drive as well. Come on, I've been putting on a show with the old putter. Right. My return putts have been good. Or my second putt, should I say. Right, for par. Pulled that. Two over. Oh. 100 yards in. Do you know what? Does it matter? No. Doesn't. Season's getting on us. Spring is here, technically, shortly. Tees are going back. People are captains having your drives in. People in North America should be another month and playing. So, we're nearly there. So, you know what? Calm down. We're nearly there. Come on. Right, what a view you've got here. Right, 4 4 called the wall. You can see that with a drone. I don't think you want to go left. But to be fair, you don't want to go right. Not a long goal, 320 yards. But you have got the road on the right and the gorse. So my last one stayed straight, but I do think I'm going to draw this. So I think I've got a bit more room to the left. So start it right hand side. Absolutely drilled it, left hand side. Now that's what we want. That's what they want on the links, a nice runny one. That's going to run like an escaped convict from Alcatraz after he gets off the boat. Got myself out of jail on that one. What a view. Look, it's about time we've seen the sun. Beautiful. And that will be Scotland over there. Positive Sram Ra Pofot area. How old are you now? You're nearly 65. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm 90. <laughs> Have you got her as well? No. <laughs> well, <laughs> 90? 19 this this next month, April. And what do you play off? I play off 22. Still at 90? Yeah. Oh my God, do you know what? what? I would love to come back in the summer and play a few holes with you. I know why, I know why. Yeah? Yeah. Would you like football? No. Rugby? No. <laughs> just golf? I just play golf. 
Very nice to meet a young man. Thank you very much for the young man bit. Well, I have got cataracts. <laughs> <laughs> Love your course. Uh, yeah. Well, if you, if you just come up, we'll have a game. Yes, I'd love and, uh, that. I'll get my mate with us. We'll just have a threesome. No, pardon. Every, geez, a threesome? A threesome. Oh, free ball, yes. Oh, no problem. Uh, he's, uh, he's 66. And he's what's your name, sir? Bill. Bill. Bill Clark. I think I might have called you Frank earlier on. I you said there's a marsh. You, you can cause what you want as long as you don't knock us over. No, I won't <laughs> knock you over. Bill, thank you very much, young man. Hey, how good with Bill, eh? Once in a threesome. Right. 70 yards, gap wedge, arms, get it on. I tell you, I reckon I could get on here in the summer. Guess the bounce could be really good, that. Wow. Wow, another one. Dry for sure. I thought that were really, really good then. I expected a nice good bounce. Put that in low. Okay, no problem. Do what Bill will do. Bunt it up there and get a par the old fashioned way. Hey, I tell you what, Gold Bates, it's a weird one today. I'm actually playing all right. I've not got the scores. But that sometimes, if you're up and down, not there. But I'll have a go at this. I should get this sorted. Get it, get it up and down. We'll go again. Par train. Beep, beep. Good luck on your light. Driving lesson, Prez. Uh. <laughs> right, little bump and run, I think, halfway. A little bit right to left. Could be really good, that night. Yes. I'm going to dedicate that to a golf mate for handicapper called Baz Clark. That's for you, pal. Put, well, I've Dedicate that to someone else if I miss. But no, I'm going to get that one in. Maybe I should have chipped them others, but I've done it now, haven't I? Par train. That's for you, young man. You know who you are. Young man. Sound like Brian Clough, doesn't I? Come on. Right, golf mates, coming back at that super par. Still two over. I've got a beautiful par three. 150 yards. It's like it's sloping left to right. This is called the road through, which you've seen with the draw, and the road's piling through here. I've got eight tying. No, it's probably in between eight and nine, but I think go with eight. It's turning into a gorgeous day now, but the sunlight might be in the camera. It's drawing. Is it going to get a piece of the green and we're the best day? I think she's in the bunker on the greens. The man from Del Monte, he's just told me it's on the green. We'll have a bit of that. Chicken and rice, salt and pepper, soy sauce. All oh, right, about too much club golf, mate. It's bloody chicken and rice. I didn't hit that well. Just didn't fancy nine, I didn't. Actually a birdie putt now. Probably forgot to say there's two par fives on the course and we're playing one next. That sun needs to get high. I'm gonna leave the pin in for you. In fact, I'm not. I don't like the look of it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There yeah, was a because the sun's out. Everyone's finishing work early. Don't know what that is over there. Beautiful, is not it? Probably that could be that other golf course. I've forgotten it. Begins with uh, Silif. That could be the town of Silif. I was thinking, why come here? Let me have a put actually. Oh, why come here? Well, the destination is beautiful. All on this course, I've showed you loads. Base yourself at Caris and just, you know, you could do 18 at Caris and bob your way. Instead of drinking all afternoon, bob your way out and go and do like the nine old courses I've showed you. But then come here and do the 18. Uh, I'll bang it up how much it is. I forgot bloody ask. But you can see in yourself, the Lynx course bit is worth the entry fee alone. My opinion. Okay, great par that. Stroke one, 400 yards. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, gorgeous hole, really is. Great views of the Solworth Fourth, or the Firth of Solway, I think that's it. Right, let's go for that draw again. What a hit. Straight right, <laughs> but what a hit. Slightly pushed, but great hit. That was just a little a shove, but it had a bit of juice on it. Do you know what I mean? It weren't a weak one. Boom shack, I like. Shake the room. Can have about 150 and I'll be buzzing, but let's find out. And look at the views there. It's just class. Small dunes. 
All the gorse, gorgeous. Oh, it could be English broom. Right, I've got 141, I'm going to hit nine. Just, it funnels in. And I don't think big is good. Set up, okay, I think nine's a club. I think we can get a nine there. Oh, that's all over it. That really is all over it, it's big enough. I think she's Nate Pinnock back at green. To back, yeah, that's a great shot, that. I'm really happy with that. Took my time on that. We was a bit rushed earlier on. We were panicking the time because Presley has got to get back for his last driving lesson for his test tomorrow. Don't forget, comment below. You're in a giveaway of a four ball. 18 on course here, so it's a belter. Or as we say up north, a belter. Right, golf mates. Hope you enjoyed this series, you know, because it was... It was just a case of getting out and you enjoyed it and I did some more, so it, it, it weren't planned, it just happened. But let's get the boys back on the channel now and some new guests. Right, birdie putt. Short one, must be because it's downwind. Played this well. It's tracking that. Oh, get it for me. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. I know what you're going to say. You get more birdie putts, Liam, if you get them to the hole, you leave so many short. I read all the comments, trust me, I understand I leave them short, but boom shack a lack. Whew. Right, hold my hand up, I need to apologise. Presley's doing a great job here. I'm on the back camera, and for the last couple of holes, I've had the ND filter on, which means it's been a bit darker than normal. It's my fault, not the lads. Right, we've got a 270 yard par, four here. And it's called Scab Back, but it's got a burn running across it, so I don't know how far that is. So I'm just thinking if it on 150, 160, I'll be fine. So I'm gonna go with seven iron. Just drawing one in love with her. What a safe, beautiful shot that were. I think you heard the sound of that. Not the car going past the swish. Beautiful. Get in there. One over, on fire here. Tell you, my handicap's coming down this year. I think she needs to go. Well, yeah, I've duffed it. Duffed it. What a, what a bad shot, then. We're in too much. We're letting these two people go, but I will think to himself, it's never going to get there. So, so it's great, great excuses. I should have just got an hit me a time because there's no way I'll get the nine iron there. Still one over par, chip and putt. Miss hit it, wind as well, wrong club that. Caddy my backside. No, I've left myself an absolute shocker. It is lift clean in place when I need it. This is where you don't want to cock yourself up. I could go risky over the bunker, but it's not easy this. I think I'm gonna have to take a five and run away. As it bites. I'm saying nop at me. That would like watching the players that, wouldn't it? I'm not being funny, I don't even know where I've done that. That is the best shot I've ever seen in my life on this channel. Seriously. <laughs> no excuse, I just, I just don't know what's happened there. That's a belter. Come on. Uphill right to left. That deserves, that's seven iron, and that deserves a par. I love that noise. Tss, tss. Did you see the jizz on that? Where did that come from? I tell you, there's a lot of people watching me as well, so they'll be telling me later on, Liam, oh, that's some short game. And I'm going to say, oh yeah, what I did, I opened my 60, did this, did that. Obviously I didn't, because I ain't even got a 60, but I'll tell them I did. Yeah. You've seen the condition of this place, the bunkers are beautiful. Everything's great. Three and a half greenkeepers, Graham, Alan, Ian, and Stacky. And Deborah behind the bar I met this morning. Par three, we're catching people up now. Hopefully, we've got two holes to go. We've got 30 minutes to do two holes to get Presley home for his driving test. Now, please, please, you've got nephews and sons, it means everything to him. And for me, old man Park, Barlow and eBay on the trips. So we've got a designated driver. <laughs> it's going great, isn't it? It really is. Right, this is called... 
<laughs> the road all par 380 yards it's got vibes of prestatin as well with this little road in the middle it's mad i've got six iron i think i've got 210 back so i'm not going big and behind big is like on that road Get in there, it might get a bunk of that. Just don't go in. It's pin eye a tad right, looking where I bit it. Just sounded great, but not super duper, but I'm taking it all day. Now, I've just said I've got a great short game. I don't know who did it. I've got one of them shots where it's going to be dead, dead hard. Do you remember them golf balls, Dunlop DDH? Well, I did some investigation on the internet, and do you know what it stands for? Dead, dead hard. Like this chip shot I've got now. Well, well, well. Hard all. I don't think it, I just need to make sure I get it there. It's lifted in place, so I'll put it up pretty nice, to be honest. That's not gonna check, but it could release and go in. What? Sun is shining on me today. Boom, shakalak. Remember what I said? Green keepers doing a great job. Look at the bunkers. The lad doing them has done a great job. Anyway, got this to deal with. I my best chip shot really that, but I've got away with that, but I've got away with a few today, haven't I? Alright. I have been lucky. Oh, don't know any of them. I thought I might get the old beep. I tell you, it's a busy road. Does anyone work in Cumbria? Eh? I know there's a lot at Sellerfield. I don't know how far that is, but it's, it's a bit like a fire drill. Everyone's b***ed off. Oh, man, they might put a bleep on that, but leave the bleep on. Right, one over par. I've got a big decision here. This is called the tower. It's only 250 yards from exactly where I am now. Small bit of wind in, but I'm going to have a go. I just think, stuff it. It's a mini-series, what, just happened by fluke, so we'll have a go, eh? We'll have a go. Oh, and I've hit an absolute stinker right on side. That's gone nowhere. Tell you what. Way short of everything. It's got about 220. Not to worry. As long as it's not on the road, I'm okay. I think I'm all right. Work a good one. Who cares? Not me. Tell you what. I've had a cracking day. Like I said, I said it earlier on. Mini series. Hope you can like the videos. Because if you're still watching, liking the videos, it doesn't really do anything for you. It's really very easy for you to do, but it means a lot to us and helps the videos do well. So definitely give it a like because uh, it's nice to be nice. All golf mates, as you can see just there, I've fed the fish. If I knew that brook were there, I would never have took driver, but I've done it now. So drop one here, try and get a five, two over, still done great. Right, drop one, got about 40 yards, 54. Let's just get her on the and two put. Or one put if that's the right number. Oh, that's bouncing towards the pin. I'll wait for Presley. Where's it gone? Right next to the pin. So I'm going to finish with a par? Possibly. All the codgers are watching me in the clubhouse about going and say hello and buy them all the best bitter. I'll tell you what, I must think you do, need the last few holes if this goes in. I'll, uh, I'll mark that. Well, I hope you love the series. I've told you give us a like and all the future videos going on. I'm doing everything I can to get all the team together. But the weather's... You know what the weather's been. You don't need me to tell you. I'll touch wood again. I hope it does one. All right, for one over, which I'll be buzzing about. Well, how good with that? I'm going to go in there now and get a cup of tea because we've got 20 minutes before we need to leave. Uh, I hope I've showed you something good in these courses I've showed you. Like I said, this series will just, just happen. It weren't meant to happen. It was just me trying to get out. Uh, so, golf mates, love you loads. See you soon. Can't wait to get all the boys out, especially the Masters. You're going to love that video. You really are. Golf mates, I believe, and I'll see you all soon.